Okay, this, my friends, is a DIY beadlock wheel that's drilled and tapped with no welding at all. This is an aluminum Ford Super Duty wheel, which is going to have 37 inch tires on it. And now I'll show you how I did it. So I got a couple beadlock projects that I want to do, and I got eight of these Ford wheels, and I only need six of them. So this is the perfect one to try it out on. These wheels that I want to do are aluminum, so rather than welding on a ring like you typically see for like the off-road guys, uh, or sending them out to like MacFab for a million dollars for aluminum stuff, what I'm going to do is drill and tap them and get everything all centered up that way with the bolts, put a spacer ring on there, put it together and see how it goes. I think it'll work. I had my buddy James at Empire Metalworks laser these for me. You send a PDF and you get back metal parts that are ready to go. This was quarter inch steel for the drill guide and the beadlock ring. I actually did quarter inch uh, aluminum for those. Go to empiremetalworks.com. Uh, tell them Gearhead Design sent you because he gave me the beadlock ring as a freebie to see if this plan is genius or stupid because it's one or the other. All right, now it's time to drill these babies for beadlocks. Stick my laser jig on the wheels here and see what we get for results. I had this jig laser just undersized so that I could take a measurement and then space it to get everything set up. And I set it eighth of an inch undersized and these little pieces of 16th inch plastic work perfect. To center it up just right. Okay, I got two holes drilled on the wheel and I got two holes drilled out to five sixteenths here, the rest are quarter inch. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tap these first two and actually bolt this plate down to do the rest. Okay, now I got two drilled and tapped, and I can bolt this thing on to drill the rest of the... Well, this is not a good start. So these fit in three sides, not over here, too tight, wouldn't go in. So I measured it, and I'm off by 40,000. So that means I'm 20 thousandths off. Not a good start. Okay, this is better. I'm off by one thou, which means a half a thou that I'm actually moved around. All I did was take one bolt out, this one's still in here, all my spacers fit in, and actually radially I was okay, and it's just off in one direction. So I can slot it a hair, <clears throat> and then just drill all the rest of these. Okay, that is 16 holes drilled, uh, quarter inch drill. Now, I gotta get them all started straight with this 5 16 tap. So all I'm doing is keeping some pressure down on the drill, turning this thing to get them started straight because they're right on that angle, which would be pretty much impossible to do any other way. 16 of these started. Uh, and I'm gonna finish the rest at home. And that is an arm killer. There's no cranking the hog tonight. Got all these tapped all the way to the bottom. I used a bottom tap too after the original one. And now I gotta grind this lip off. Okay, this is where an hour's worth of work gets you. Uh, this is like a knife edge here now, so I want to come in here with like a router, round that off a little bit, because that would not be tire friendly. But it's getting close.
Oh, so I got the mock-up assembled and that looks amazing. This is the half inch gap to lock the bead here. I just gotta get rid of this knife edge. Out of work late, now it's time to go beat this winter beater. This first one here is my proof of concept. And uh, this is done with plastic at work uh, with a half inch ring there. Uh, the tire that I measured the bead was 590, so it can be 90 thousandths a pinch. And uh, this will be a quarter inch aluminum plate. This will be half inch aluminum plate. Uh, lasered by my buddy at Empire Metalworks. Uh, these I did on the CNC router at work. And the idea is to use it for 37s for the blazer. Um, these Ford wheels are too narrow for these tires, supposedly. They actually really don't fit too bad. That was what I was testing by getting this one mounted. But doing the bead locks will uh, widen the wheels a little bit and make things fit a little bit better. Um, plus, I think it will look absolutely amazing painting these things black have an aluminum ring in here that you'll just be able to see a little bit and then this red uh saw blade beadlock ring i think that looks really cool and this uh this beadlock on the top here will be twice as thick in the end on top of the blazer stuff i have these uh beretta slicks this is a 15 by 8 and i bought some minivan wheels that have the same saw blade look that i want to do a saw blade beadlock like this the minivan saw blades are 15 by 6 so what I really need to do is widen them to 15 by 8 like my drag wheels here. Um, and the beadlock is just going to be a nice way to do that without any welding. I don't think my 60 foots are going to need an actual beadlock on the tire. It's one of those things that's uh, maybe a little financially retarded. Uh, but I think it'll look really cool and be unique. Okay, I bought a cheap China router from Hobo Fright. Got a 16th radius uh, roundover router bit for it. And this is kind of exactly what I was looking for, this nice round edge. So it's not going to tear up tires or anything. 32 holes done, finally. Okay, here we go. Just beaded this thing, got it all set up. No leaks, even with one busted stud and 30 PSI in here. All right, that is a legit bead lock. Holding air, let's see how it balances. Zero welding. Oh yeah, it yeah, definitely looks like there's some. There is definitely some. Hmm. Well, the real test is gonna be putting it on a truck. Yeah. And I've been waiting on this video for a long time because I got a buddy with a Super Duty who was gonna let me try it on his truck, make sure it didn't vibrate or anything. Uh, but that was like months ago, still in the shop. It is a Ford. So uh, I'll let you guys see this whole process. And when I do try it on a truck and confirm that it does work, or maybe that it doesn't work, who knows, I'll upload another video and uh, update everybody on the status.